What up, everybody? Um, it's Saturday, July 20th. No, excuse me. It's Sunday, July 24th, 2015 at 10 53 p.m. And I don't even know where to start with this video because it's been like building up, but I wasn't going to make a video about it. But then like stuff happened today that I'm just like, why not complain to the internet and the 53 <laughs> followers that I have, the 53 <laughs> subscribers on YouTube. Um, so, all right, so I'm not going to name names here because I don't want to get sued, but, um, I work at Chelsea Market, which is this gigantic tourist trap <clears throat> in Chelsea, New York. And people from all over the world come here because it's just this gigantic building where there's, like, gourmet food and shopping. But it's mostly food. It's mostly restaurants and stuff. And I work at an ice cream place because my life has come to this. I scoop ice cream for, like, eight hours a day. I'm cool. You should be jealous of my life. But that's what I do. That's how I buy things like food. And so I've been working there for a little under a month. And I went in for my interview. And it went well. And after I was hired, I disclosed that I was trans because I have been on testosterone for a year now. And I'm not passing. Yup, not passing. So I still need to disclose, disclose to people that I'm trans so they get my pronouns right. So I was like, I'm trans, these are my pronouns, hello. I identify as male. And the guy was like, great, super, cool. So, you know, all the managers were great, like totally respected me as a male, like regarded me as a male. My coworkers are, are pretty good at it. Like if people made a mistake, they would correct themselves, except for like a few people, but whatever. Um, but then, so this is where the shit gets dramatic. Like last week or something, two weeks ago, last week, there's this girl that I worked with. We're going to call her A. A said, was like complaining about work and talking about like all this shady shit that was happening. And, um... She was like, there's stuff that I can't even tell you. And I was like, what are you talking about? And she's like, there's stuff that, like, I can't even tell you. And I was like, well, does it have to deal with me? And she's like, yeah. And I was like, well, tell me, like, you just, what, you know, what's going on? So she basically told me that, I guess, a co, a manager told a coworker that they couldn't, they couldn't fire me because I'm trans. And she's like, I didn't want to tell you because I didn't want you, like, confronting management and, like, getting upset. And I was like, well, I am upset because that's extremely discriminatory and just, like, awful. So I was like, all right. So I messaged her on Facebook later, and I was like, who said that? And she, like, didn't respond. And I was like debating whether or not I wanted to say something to a manager because as soon as it happened I was like really uncomfortable and I was like I don't know if I even feel comfortable working here because if that's what they're thinking about me that I'm just like this trans person that they can't fire because of whatever reason because I'm like the token trans person then that makes me really uncomfortable and that's gross um but I ended up talking to a co-worker and I texted him I was like do you know anything about this and he was like no I get into work the next morning and he's like, I talked to a manager about it. And I was like, what the fuck? Like, why? What, what are you doing? And he's like, he didn't know anything about it. And I was like, okay, so there's this new manager that he talked to and we'll also call him a, because his name starts with an a. And I didn't really like this manager because I don't know. I just didn't really get along with him. The bottom line, the end of the night, I was asking a, if the GM was going to be in because I wanted to talk to him about the situation. And he's like, no, he's not going to be in tomorrow. He's like, can you talk to me about it? And I was like, well, I was hoping to talk to, to the other manager about it. And I was like, it's about what Kyle talked to you this morning about. And he's like, yeah, well, that's, it's really unacceptable that that happened. And I was like, okay. 
So basically I went into his office and he said that she lied, that from what he knew, none of the managers had said that about him, about me, and that she lied. And um, he was like, it's completely unacceptable that if this did happen, that a manager would say that to one of your coworkers. And he's like, a line was crossed if that happened. And he's like, I know this is a sensitive subject for you. And like, basically said, like, he understands that like being trans must be hard and that like we go through enough discrimination and the fact that this was happening at work was not okay. Oh my God, I think my neck. Oh my God, I think I have a swarm. Ow. Okay, anyway. Um,. So he was, like, totally on my side, and it was really cool. And so he's like, she was already getting fired before you came here, but now she's definitely getting fired because she has a really bad attitude, and, like, they only gave her two shifts. I had five. They were trying to, like, edge her out. And so he's like, it's taken care of, you know, and then he's like, I'm going straight to the owner about this. And I was like, oh, fuck. Like, this, they're not fucking around. Like, this is serious. So anyway, this is the longest story of my life. She ended up getting fired, right? And then she, like, messaged me, and she's like, you got me fired. I'm only working two shifts. And I was like, bitch, you were only working two shifts before he and I talked, so, like, don't even get it twisted. This is not my fault. Like, this is your fault. And she's like, but thank you. Like, now I'm on to better things and work at not such a negative environment. And I was like, okay. Fast forward to 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 today. I'm at work. This bitch is literally working, like, a 100 feet away from me at a different store. So I was like, this is just mad awkward now. Because I can literally see her. I mean, kudos to her for, like, working across the street. And then she came in to work. I was like, bitch, what the fuck you doing? You got, you got fired. Go, go home. So, but the main, so that's, like, fucked up. But the reason, like, that pushed me over the edge to make this video is the shit that started a couple like last week but then carried into today with a specific coworker. There's this one guy, big African American guy. We'll call him R. And R didn't know I was trans and I was like I was like I don't even know what how it came out, but I was like I'm trans, like I identify as a guy and he was like, What? Like, oh my God. Basically he like doesn't believe me and is like, no, you're a girl. And he, the like, the whole first shift that we worked, he was like, he's like, but I get such a feminine energy from you. And, you know, you have such a beautiful face. And when I talk to you, you know, you're like a girl and all this stuff. And I'm just like, I mean, the non-binary part of me can understand that I give off a feminine energy. Like, I understand that. But then, like, the male part of me is, like, extremely offended by that. But I, so I kind of stayed in the middle and I was like, not gonna cry about that one but then today was so uncomfortable and like unprofessional and over the line and like sexual harassment well because two days ago he was talking about like how when I come around he just gets this like how he reacts to like my feminine energy and basically like low-key saying that like he gets a boner whenever I'm around him because he gets such like a feminine wave because he doesn't see me as a male at all like doesn't see me as a male and then today he just he keeps calling me a girl like literally just keeps calling me a girl and I'm like dude like no you're wrong and like and then uh, and then he was like before the other day he was asking me like if if I would have sex with him and like if if he brought another girl into the equation like how would that go like just really inappropriate stuff that's, like, not appropriate at all, hence being inappropriate. That's redundant as fuck. Um, but, so then today, he was like, so when are we gonna go on a date? Like, are we gonna go to the movies? I was like, dude, I was just like, dude, you're gay. Like, you're literally flirting with a guy, like, you're being gay. And he's like, no, no, like, you're a girl, it's not gay. And then he was, like, FaceTiming with this girl, and he, like, said something. He, like, asked her a question about me, and I was like... I was like, you're gay, like, face up to it, like, you are flirting with a guy right now, and then he was, like, talking to his friend, and he's like, he's like, no, it would be gay if I was dating a guy who identified as a girl, 
fuck off, number one. Um, and he's like, he, in reference to me, he's like, you're just living, she's just living an alternative lifestyle and she's androgynous. But he mispronounced the word androgynous. I don't remember how. It was like androgynate, I think. I think that's what he said. Androgynate. So, good upbringing. So anyway, it just continued all shift. And I stuck up for myself and I was like, you need to stop. Like, I'm a guy you're being disrespectful and like just stop and he kept calling me a girl and it was just awful it was really made me uncomfortable and I was like do I have to go to management about this but I'm literally done in like two weeks if that I'm having surgery in 15 days so like less than a little under less than two weeks um but it's just so uncomfortable you know, he's like, you have such a beautiful face. And I'm just like, first of all, I'm not even attractive. So like, stop. I don't understand what the fuss is about. Like I'm fat and my face is fat and I'm gross. So I don't understand what all of this hubbub is about, but. And then this girl found out I was trans today. And because she asked, because I was like, I'm leaving in two weeks, I'm having surgery. Then like an hour later, she's like, so can I ask what surgery you're having? Not knowing I'm trans. And I was like, well, I'm having my breasts removed. And she's like, oh. Then like an hour later, she's like, so are you gay? I was like, are you trying to sleep with me? Like, do you want to have sex with me? And she's like, well, I'm not judgmental. I'm just wondering. I was like, well, usually people don't ask me that unless they're trying to sleep with me. And I was like, so I just humored her. I was like, I... I believe love is love and like hearts not parts and she's like oh okay and then she like asked me she's like did you change your name and I was like yes but she didn't ask what my name was before so half a point for her um but I'm just like upset with the world that people can be so rude and invalidating of my identity like to tell me that I'm living an alternative lifestyle which is so much to say is that I'm a girl who thinks she's a boy and is choosing to like live in this like androgynous like I'll present as a boy way that's not it that's that's not nope no that's not how I identify like there are butch women and very masculine women but I'm not one of them so it's just like I don't know really frustrating but this video is already way too long so I'm not gonna like detach it and complain about how humanity sucks you get the point this person crossed many lines and made me very uncomfortable and it's just really sad that like I can't get the respect that I deserve as a human being and I'm told after asserting myself that I'm still a girl whatever